be showing you how to do a basic integration between Hopdoc and Xero. So as you know, Hopdoc was acquired by Xero and now in many plans, Hopdoc is now free uh, as part of the Xero subscription. So what you do is you go to add new organization. What we're gonna do is we're going to create it with Xero. So this will assume that you already have the Xero entity. So create with Xero. You then select the entity that you want to link it to. So we're going to select an entity here. You allow access. So then once you have linked your HubDoc uh, to the uh, Zero account, you then enter a client email. So I'm just going to enter the client email now. Uh, you can send a invitation to the client. So what this would enable them to do is they would then have an email notification to then create their account. So we'll say yes for now. So as you can see, the hub.entity has now been created quite quickly and easily. A few more things you need to do to make sure that the OCR and the automated uh, AP uh, is running through. So you go to settings, go to integrations. So here you can see that it's the zero account is integrated to HubDoc. What you want to do is click this button. What this does is it means that when you are uh, scanning invoices and receipts, once you have coded them in HubDoc, they would then also be added to zero. So you can actually see not just the bill, but also the attachments to it. Just make sure that the correct VAT has been added. And then, so that it will ask for two. So one is obviously for the default tax rate, but this is a UK client, so this is 20%. And then the exempt rate, which you might want to choose either exempt or no VAT. Here we'll put exempt. And if they are VAT registered, you need to click that button to push data. The other thing you can do is you need to invite users. The way you do that is you enter the email address. So I will add a user. So they can have a number of different options. They can be upload only, standard or account bookkeeper. In this situation, I'm adding one of my staff. So I'm going to add them as an account bookkeeper. And then you send invite. And then and then one more thing you want, you want to do also is go to organizations. Now here you want to make sure that it's the correct company setup, the correct currency and the date format. And then here you can change the actual email address. So this is the email address that you would use to, uh, to forward receipts and invoices to HubDoc, which would then be pre-coded. So what we like to do is we like to change it so it's a lot easier. So in this situation, let's see if Raza has been taken yet. Nope, that's been taken. So let's call it Raza Digital. Save. Okay, that's great. And then just click this box here. This, what this means is that when you send the email, and not only the attachment comes to, to help, but also the body of the email. Save changes and you're ready to go. The other tabs is you can hide certain accounts from in HubDoc to certain, to certain users. And then you can also add additional bills as well. So you may have HSBC, PayPal, um, Stripe transactions that you might want to add as well. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks. Bye.